When uh, working uh, in a Kotlin multi-platform project, uh, you often find yourself in a situation where uh, you need to provide the Android uh, context to one of your classes. If you're using a co-independence injection library, which in most cases I do, then this is the way of uh, providing that uh, application context to my Android target. Obviously, here we are providing that uh, Android context to the coin library so that the coin library can then inject that uh, context to our classes. But with the new coin uh, version 4.1, we no longer need to initialize this uh, coin library in our uh, on create function for the Android target, and we don't need to call this initialize function from our uh, main view controller for the iOS target. With the new coin version, this uh, whole approach is a lot simplified, and in this video, I'm going to show you a new, shorter way to achieve pretty much the same thing, only with less code. All right, so this is my uh, current uh, demo project that I have prepared for this uh, demonstration purpose. In this case, I have uh, three coin uh, artifacts, uh, like uh, coin uh, Android, coin uh, Core, and coin Compose. So uh, we are using uh, the version 4.1.0 uh, beta 5 uh, at the moment of recording this video. And this is my uh, Compose application uh, gradable file. So I'm using this uh, coin uh, Android artifact uh, for the Android uh, main uh, source set, and those two for the common main source set. Now, with this new approach, we actually don't need to use this uh, uh, coin uh, Android artifact from our Android main source set, so we can remove it, right? Let's sync the project. Uh, plus, from our uh, Android uh, main source set, you can see that we already have that uh, application class in which we are calling that initialize function to initialize the coin library. But as I mentioned earlier, now with this uh, new approach, we no longer need that. So we can freely uh, remove this uh, whole application class. Let's do that, so delete anyway. And we also um, can remove that uh, same class from our uh, Android source uh, or Android manifest file, like that. Plus, we don't need this function in our uh, main view controller anymore. Let's also uh, remove that, right? Perfect. So after that, let me just here go back. We can, of course, uh, remove this initialize uh, coin function. And instead, we need to create uh, a new function to provide a new coin configuration. So in this case, I have uh, one target module, which is uh, separately initialized and specified uh, for each target. So in this case, I have only two targets, and I have one uh, uh, expect class, which is called a platform. So this uh, platform expect class basically has one function to return the name of uh, each platform on which we are running on our application. So if I open up this um, actual declaration for the Android target, we are returning here a string that says uh, Android, then the SDK uh, version, and we are using the context that we are providing to this uh, platform uh, class to print the package name. This is, of course, for the demonstration purpose, just to show you uh, how we are actually initializing the context object, right? Uh, and also, on the iOS part, we just have that uh, simple actual class which returns the version of our uh, iOS system. So, as simple as that, right? Let me just close that for now. We no longer need to initialize that uh, coin library uh, separately in our uh, application class of the main activity, and we don't need to do that in our uh, main view controller for the iOS platform. Instead, we just need to call one function here, which is called um, coin uh, multi-platform application. So this uh, function accepts uh, uh, multiple parameters. The first one is the coin configuration, which basically contains uh, your uh, modules, your coin modules. We also have a log level parameter, and the third one is the composable content. So for now, we can just paste here uh, the composable content. And for the configuration parameter, uh, I'm going to call uh, one of the functions which I have already prepared. So there we go, it's called create uh, coin configuration, which uh, basically returns a, a coin configuration class to which we need to provide uh, all our modules. In this case, we have only one module, and that is the target module, which we are, of course, uh, initializing and specifying on each platform separately. So now with the new coin version, we are getting the Android context out of the box without needing to pass it explicitly from our application class. And of course, in our uh, iOS main source set, we just have a simple coin module uh, where we are initializing this platform class without providing any parameters. So only in our uh, Android target, we need that uh, context, okay? There we go. And here, as you can see, as a config, I can just call this a create config uh, or a coin configuration function. So create a coin configuration. And in this configuration, we are just uh, passing all our coin modules. 
So if I now launch this application on an uh, Android emulator first, you will see that everything will work fine uh, right here. So we are able to see uh, the Android, the SDK version, as well as the package name of our project, uh, which requires that uh, context object, which uh, is now available by default without uh, explicitly providing it. Now let me open up the um, Xcode, and I'm going to launch this uh, same application on an iOS simulator to demonstrate that uh, everything works uh, fine here as well. There we go. So now we have the iOS and then the version of our uh, platform as well. Be sure to uh, check out this uh, new uh, coin version, which is uh, available uh, for now. So uh, coin version 4.1 uh, beta 5, I think. So let me just check that once again. So yeah, 4.1.0 beta 5. That's the latest version uh, at the moment of recording this uh, video. And also, we don't need this uh, coin uh, Android artifact anymore. Because now, with this new version, we don't need to provide the Android context explicitly. It's uh, automatically handled by the coin library itself. We just need to wrap uh, our uh, composable content within the coin uh, multi-platform application function. And that's it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video, but uh, only if you find it helpful. And thank you for watching.